I met him at work. And at first we couldn't stand each other. I mean, he used to cut me up and cut me down, put me down every chance he got. But I decided to confront him one day. And I asked him, what's your problem with me, man? And he smiled. And he says, I don't have a problem with you. I said, you could have fooled me. And he smiled again. And he said, no, I don't have a problem with you. But anyone who's coming to work on my team, I have to test them to know who they are. And so I said, and? And he says, it's all right. You're a little bit of a hurricane, but we can work together. And from that moment on, him and I became very good friends, allies really, in the company. Eventually we both left and went to different companies, but we kept in touch by email, coffee dates, that kind of stuff. And then it's been a long time that we hadn't been in touch until about three years ago. One of our colleagues passed away suddenly and we met at the funeral. And we both were accusing each other of, you never kept in touch. You said you would and you didn't. And we promised at that time that we would get together, go for coffee, catch up. Never happened. And so last week I'm driving down the highway and he crossed my mind and I realized, hey, you know what? I really miss this dude and I would love to see him again. So I'm going to call him and invite him to go for a coffee date with me. And we can really catch up. And I wanted to know how his kids were doing, you know, that kind of stuff. And I still never got around to calling him. And so I woke up last week one morning and I got a text early in the morning from a friend of mine, a mutual friend. And he asked me, did you hear what happened to XYZ? And I said, no, what happened? I was thinking about him last week and I mean to call him this week and invite him out. And the text said, he died last year. And I put the phone down. I felt really numb inside. I couldn't even find the tears to cry because I was just so broken up with that little bit of news. Because here I am, after all this time, ready to go for coffee, to catch up, see how he's doing, let him know oh, how I have been doing. And I can't anymore because he's gone. And I'm not saying all this to depress you, but what I'm saying this to say is make use of the opportunities that we have to really love and those that we love. Show them, tell them. Because just like that, they can be gone. And when you really want to talk to them, they're no longer there. So take the time. If there is somebody that you've been meaning to call and you haven't, give them a call. Because even now, I'm still feeling so numb inside. I, I'm feeling such a great loss. And, you know, it really hurts. But life goes on. I will miss my friend. I'm sorry I never got the chance to say goodbye, and I'm really sorry I never got the chance to catch up with him. But now I have an opportunity to do better with those that are left behind. And I encourage you to do the same. And may I say that this message isn't about anybody but my friend and I. It's not about you, it's not about you, and it's not about you. It's about me and my friend. And I'm just sharing an experience that I have and encouraging you to make use of opportunities to love those in your life and to reach out to those you haven't reached out to in a long time before it's too late. Love you guys. God bless. Bye-bye.